Samoa Joe released for the second time in nine months. Remember when they released him and then uh, Triple H and NXT hired him? And then NXT 2.0 started and he vanished and now he's been released again. So uh, I think we all knew it was probably coming. I mean, I had been... When I was given the list of everybody uh, the other day, uh, I'd seen the name Joe, but it was unconfirmed and nobody else had, had confirmed it. So I was pretty much sure that at some point it was going to come out if it was true. And it did. So he's gone. And I think that's it for like today. But next week, two weeks, you know. Budget, Who knows? Any time with them. Yeah. It'll, it'll be interesting to see what Samoa Joe does, you know, and uh, his medical condition has not looked at by WWE because obviously they pulled him off the active roster. He was an announcer for a while, then was released, picked up back by NXT and Triple H, looked like he was going to be an authority figure only. That seemed to try to dribble into he is going to face Karrion Cross, and we're going to see Samoa Joe back actively in the ring again, and then... Poof, now he is gone. So it's going to be interesting to see what he says his medical condition is and it, what he decides to do if he decides to do things on the indie scene. I am sure he's going to be. He's pretty much already said he's he's continuing on. Yeah. So but here's I mean, the thing. Think about he's this. He's going to be thrown. Good. Think about this. Do you remember just a few days ago we were talking about Drew McIntyre's neck? And I ran down the list of everybody on SmackDown, and I said, who is going to challenge Roman Reigns for the next month or so if Brock's there feuding with Lashley? Well, the same week, we're trying to figure out who in God's name is left they fired Samoa Joe. Because of course they did. <laughs> it can't possibly. You guys, remember that, that Samoa Joe-Brock Lesnar feud? Bro, that was awesome. And you, you think Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe would have sucked? Well, let me yeah, tell you something. Thing is, but it would have been is, awesome. Brian, but the problem is, it was never going to be awesome because without Triple H or somebody there, how would WWE let him compete anyway? If well, he was here's already deemed ineligible to compete, they're but all he of a sudden going to... He was, he was cleared. They were, they were letting him work again. Like, there's, it's, not, it's not a deal where there's like a, a medical team for the main roster and a medical team for NXT. If he got cleared to work NXT, he was good to go. But mm. they just decided, we don't want this guy in the main roster. What can we do with Samoa Joe? It's baffling. It really, really is. Well, do do what you're doing with everybody else, which is what they did, which is hand them right back over to people that could use him, whether it be AEW, whether it could be the New Japan Dojo, whether it's New Japan proper, whether it's Ring of Honor, which is still going to survive and move on come spring. I fully believe that they are going to be, you know, the kind of promotion that you had talked about and that we had talked about on this show where they may only have a couple of people, but they bring in a bunch of people. There are so many options for this guy, and there are so many ways for him to pass on everything that, number one, he had learned far before getting there in all of his life experiences, but then everything he has picked up from looking at production, from looking at different things, trying to glean what is actually good from that company and passing it on to everybody else. And again, does this hurt WWE? Of course it doesn't hurt WWE. They're going to move on regardless, not miss a beat, won't care that Samoa Joe is gone, but... It all it just helps everybody else. And they that's where they discount some of this stuff. Not that I want WWE to take a big bunch of people and just hoard them. We saw how that worked out. But by releasing key people, by releasing people that can really help the the entire landscape of the business if they so choose to do it, it, it it's just it, it's amazing. And I'm happy that he's gone from there. I hope he is happy and doing whatever he does next. But it's going to be a benefit for all almost everybody else. CM Punk versus Garcia. Fast moving, neck breaker, leg sub hold on. I got a P. P gets like. <laughs> 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 this was 10 and 8, 21. Clothesline. Pil Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? <laughs> I don't know. How What's happening? It? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. 
Join us today.